Hi everyone, this is uh, Deco Designs again. Uh, I am uh, back with a new video. Uh, this time it's uh, gaming related. Uh, no more uh, bunkers at the moment. Uh, but uh, I have been to a flea market uh, and I found something rather interesting. Um, and it is, well, uh, it's not just one, but I actually found two of these. This is a uh, Competition Pro Joystick. Yes, this was the main competitor of the uh, Suzo Arcade. And, and I believe these were actually made by Suzo as well. And um, these have a completely different construction than a Suzo Arcade. Um, I found two of these and they are in a rather crusty condition. Uh, I will have to clean them up and um, to, to take them apart and um, see what's wrong with them because I have already done a really quick test and one of them is a bit faulty. Um, so, well, um, I'll just uh, open them up, see what's inside and uh, have a clean and see if we can diagnose some problems. And here is the uh, second one. As you can see, this is a bit dirty. Uh, everything else here is really dirty. I'll have to clean it up and well the wiring isn't that great. But this one, as you can see here, it has uh, micro switches. But this one uh, is faulty on the left. So that switch is either missing or it's completely shot. Um, these are the fire buttons. Uh, these are leaf switch buttons. Um, the later versions of the uh, um, Competition Pro uh, used micro switch buttons, uh, but those have a red stick. This is the very first model with a black stick, and as you can see, this stick is exactly the same as uh, the really early uh, Suzo arcade models. Let's see if I can get one for comparison here. Here's a uh, Suzo arcade, really first model, and here's the Competition Pro right beside it and as you can see the sticks are uh, the same as opposed to a slightly later um, Suzo Arcade which has a slightly different taper and texture on the plastic. So I'm uh, shooting this uh, with a new camera with a uh, Nikon Coolpix uh, S9000. I just bought it today uh, because I felt it wasn't really suitable to film this with a GoPro camera which I use to uh, do my bunker videos and also it wasn't really um, shootable for uh, filming with a phone. Uh, also I bought the camera because uh, I just wanted something better uh, with uh, anti-fibration features and it can also come in handy when doing lift videos. But uh, enough of that, let's uh, crack them open and you know, we'll just see what's inside. Okay, this is the first one we're going to take apart. Um, as you can see, the cable here is, uh, well, it's not broken off, but this bit of uh, spirally plastic uh, has. So I, uh, well, I hope the cable itself is still fine. Um, this here is very dirty, as you can see. It's really dusty. Uh, I'll have to clean it up and, uh, well, clean it up with a bit of alcohol. So, uh, this is the first one we're going to open. So let's get our screwdriver. Um, I hope I'll get the right one. <laughs> because uh, these are those uh, crosshead screws. And I always tend to get the, the wrong kind of screwdriver. Um, okay. Okay, this one doesn't catch. So that's the, the wrong bit. We need a slightly larger one. So I bet these joysticks have not been open for like 30 years or so. Uh, the screws are, uh, well, quite large actually. They are much larger than uh, on the uh, Suzo Arcade uh, joystick. And this is also an older 
model. Uh, I think this one was released in like 1982, but don't quote me on that. Um, and I don't really know when they were manufactured. Oh look, there's a uh, manufacturing sticker right here. And yes, it's from Suzo in Rotterdam. And very faintly, you can see a 5 and the car and um, the number 84. So uh, this one was probably manufactured in 1984. Uh, I expect there to be a lot of dust inside. So let's turn it over. These are uh, the insides. This is a uh, leaf contact, leaf switch. You see those are two metal uh, springs, two metal blades, and they are kind of springy. And they, well, when you, uh, they just make contact. These uh, leaf switches are the same kind of leaf switches that they used in uh, uh, actual arcade uh, cabinets. So they are higher quality than what Suzo used in their later uh, prof competition and arcade turbo joysticks. Um, these are uh, the micro switches, these are Miltec ones. And one thing I notice is that this part here is not be making good contact anymore with the micro switches. It's almost as if this part is a bit too high. It should be a bit lower, I guess, to make better contact. You see, it isn't really touching them properly. It, it, so we, we, we may be able to do some adjustments there. And I think this part can screw. Yep, I can definitely turn this. So there's some room for adjustment. Uh, the micro switches inside are a uh, Swiss uh, brand uh, Sanwa. Uh, so, correction, uh, not Sanwa. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm confused a bit. No, it's a uh, Miltak. Mil Miltak is a Swiss brand. It's a high quality micro switch, and well, if they are short, you can replace them quite easily. But I think it's just the mechanics of the stick that uh, are just a bit old and crusty and we just need to do a, a bit of cleanup on this one. So that's the first one. So I'll just uh, close it a bit and then open the other one to see what's wrong with that. So I don't uh, turn the screws all the way because I am going to open them up again later. That's number one. Now number two. Number two has um, the wire pretty much intact as you can see. That is still fine, but the previous owners, they have um, kind of uh, coiled uh, the wire quite a bit. They, they were wrapped around really tightly around the joystick. They were, they were well, kind of wrapped around like, like this basically. And that, uh, well, that's just really bad for a joystick wire because uh, eventually when you do that too often, it will uh, lead to breakage. And also this is really dirty and this almost looks like uh, corrosion or rust. I don't know what it is, but it's super dirty. So, let's open it up. Now, moment of truth. What date is it? Oh, we don't know. There's no production sticker in this one. Uh, ah, I already see what's the what the fault is. I uh, can you spot the problem here? It's um, I told you earlier that it had a problem with the left direction. Well, 
take a good look at the micro switches there's something missing and yes it's this one this one is missing uh, its contact point it's uh, well it's it, actually it's kind of pushed in all the way um, how do we make this visible uh, you can't really yeah you can sort of see it but it's just totally pushed in so uh, I'll think I'll have to replace that micro switch personally I don't really like those leaf contacts they're just well the tactile response is not that great on the other hand they are they do allow for kind of fast um, action as you can see but they are kind of prone to breakage and well they, they just wear uh, quite a bit and uh, eventually those uh, contact springs they uh, kind of lose their springiness so that's a bit of a problem um, but everything else uh, kind of looks fine it just needs to be cleaned up and I may have to just undo that micro switch and see what's wrong oh yes Bloody Murphy will get you, you need a different screwdriver. So, here's our faulty micro switch. As you can see, the white part is uh, entirely pushed in. So I'll just have to look for a replacement. So now I will attempt to clean them up a little bit. And for that we're going to use a uh, alcohol product, which is uh, always really useful for lots of purposes. Uh, of, of course you all know that uh, it, it's great for cleaning uh, cartridges, uh, edge connectors and the like. So first we're going to do the outside a bit. And then we use uh, the, the remains to do the crevices. Because the crevices get really dirty. Um, what I've done with a PlayStation controller is actually disassemble it entirely. And put the, uh, the shell parts in the sink. So also those crevices they get absolutely dirty, especially these uh, edges around here, they're just really dirty. Oh it's really baked on. Mm. quite a bit of dust there too well it takes a pretty long time to clean them both so this was just a short example of how you could clean them um, you could also use like an uh, air dust um, aerosol spray to get the dust out and um, so we're going to spray a bit of alcohol here to get a bit more into the crevices Another product you could use are uh, medical wipes or medi swaps. They're just, uh, well, they're used in hospitals and the like, and they ha also contain alcohol. I'm just scraping off uh, 30 year old uh, dust and dirt and yuckiness because. Um, when you get these really old joysticks, they're not quite hygienic. Uh, you know, people have uh, used them with their grubby fingers and whatever. You know, uh, like computer keyboards and cell phone keypads, they are they have more 
uh, bacteries than a toilet <laughs> so uh, it is a good idea to uh, to, to really clean these up and um, get them uh, somewhat hygienic again so that was a bit of an example uh, I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching and I'm going to uh, complete this process further